Talk about mood whiplash. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unexpected times movies got dark. For this list, we're looking at relatively lighthearted and family-friendly movies that contain an unexpectedly dark scene that drastically alters the tone. The scene in question must be violent, scary, or mature in some other fashion, not just sad. We also won't be including animated movies, so scenes like the sudden cut to the burnt-out village in Mulan will not be included. Also, a spoiler alert is obviously in effect. Number 10. The Finger Snap – Avengers Infinity War Superhero movies, particularly those of the MCU, are often criticized for being too safe and predictable. Despite facing the universe's greatest threats, nothing of consequence usually happens to the heroes. And then there's Infinity War. This movie contains your typical superhero action, but it ends with Thanos snapping his fingers and obliterating half of all life in the entire universe. You should have gone for the head. This includes beloved characters like Groot, Scarlet Witch, Star-Lord, and Spider-Man. The MCU saved its most gutsy story decision for last, taking out beloved main characters and having the bad guy win. And while fans predicted that everything would be righted in Endgame, this ending still blew minds, broke hearts, and placed Jaws firmly on the floor. Sorry. Number 9. Biting Off Kevin's Fingers – Home Alone Home Alone is a cherished Christmas classic, and even its most violent moments, say Harry getting his head burned by a blowtorch, are played for comedy. But just when it looks like Kevin will save the day, he's cornered by the wet bandits and hung on a door hook. Harry then claims he's gonna bite off Kevin's fingers in retaliation, and it just sounds like some threatening thing a bad guy would say to scare the kid. I'll do exactly what he did to us. I'm gonna burn his head with a blowtorch. Go ahead, smash his face with an iron! I gotta slap him right in the face with a paint can, maybe. Or shove a nail through his foot! First thing I'm gonna do is bite off every one of these little fingers. But then he actually opens his mouth and goes for the fingers. He was actually gonna do it. It paints Harry as a complete psychopath. And it forces us to reevaluate his otherwise goofy, bumbling character. I'll kill him! I'll kill him! I'll kill him. I'll kill him. You'll bomb me with one more can, kid, and I'll snap up your cojones and boil the motor oil! Number 8. Tracy's Death on Her Majesty's Secret Service With the loss of Sean Connery came a far more dramatic and personal Bond film. Before this, the James Bond movies were rather impersonal affairs, as we never really grew attached to Bond as a human. He was just this badass spy who did cool stuff and killed the bad guys in increasingly interesting ways. <laughs> This film did something a little different. It personalized Bond and gave him a life. Bond falls in love with Contessa Teresa Di Vincenzo, who eventually becomes Tracy Bond. Your Royal Highnesses, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, the toast is the bride and bridegroom, Mr. and Mrs. James Bond. However, the happy matrimony is quickly cut short when Tracy dies in a drive-by shooting. Audiences never expected to see something like this in a Bond film, and it came as quite an uncomfortable shock. It's all right. It's quite all right, really. She's having a rest. Number seven, The Stabbing, Pay It Forward. What's paying it forward? This schmaltzy movie sees Haley Joel Osment playing Trevor McKinney, an 11-year-old kid who tries to make the world a better place by starting the titular Pay It Forward movement. The ending sees Trevor helping his bullied friend Adam by stepping in to intervene. Then he gets stabbed in the stomach with a switchblade and dies. Trevor! Trevor! 
It's the ultimate irony that an innocent boy trying to make the world a better place ends up getting murdered by a bully. The movie is essentially teaching the audience that selfless acts will go unrewarded, and may even literally get them killed. The story ends on a relatively positive note with Trevor's vigil, but there's an awful lot of cynicism mixed in that sort of dilutes the message. I want you to take your skinny ass down the hall, put a little girl on a tray as supervisor, and I want you to get her some goddamn air! I got your back, sis. Oh, bitch, you still here? Shit! Oh, shit ain't funny, now nah, is it? Number 6. Voldemort's Face – Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone If there's one thing from the Harry Potter films that gave us the fits, it was Voldemort's face literally growing out of Quirrell's head. Throughout the movie, Quirrell's portrayed as the turbaned, bumbling professor who seems afraid of his own shadow. This is Professor Quirrell. He'll be your defense against the dark arts, teacher. But in the climax, viewers learn that he's been harboring Voldemort's spirit, and that he wears the turban to hide the ghastly truth. Harry Potter, we meet again. This movie contained many eerie and unsettling moments, but this is something else. The music, the visual of Quirrell's skin stretching itself into a face, and Voldemort's creepy voice all combine to create a sequence that is pure nightmare fuel. And then we watch Quirrell disintegrate into dust as if that was any better. Number 5. The Time Jumps – Click the first two-thirds of Click contain traditional Adam Sandler goofiness, like when he pauses time to fart in his boss's open mouth. No, 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 you got more. Yeah. But then things get serious, really serious. The remote causes Michael to jump through time at a rapid pace, forcing him to confront his divorce, his father's death, his horrible treatment of said father, and eventually his own mortality. I love you, son. I love you, son. I love you too, Dad. To prevent his career-oriented son from making the same mistakes, Michael dramatically runs through the rain to tell him that family comes first before dying in his arms. Family comes first. Family comes first. Luckily, the movie contains a happy ending as Morty gives Michael a second chance. It really earned its happy ending because that last act was torturous to get through. Number 4. Superman's Brutal Beating – Superman Returns Audiences expect to see the superhero tested in various unique and challenging ways. But they don't expect to see them viciously beaten and nearly murdered. Superman arrives on the landmass to confront Luther, but quickly grows weakened owing to its infusion of kryptonite. Say anything familiar? See an old man's sick joke. As such, he is viciously beaten by Luther's goons and eventually stabbed with a kryptonite shard by Luther himself, who leaves Superman to die. And he would have, too, had it not been for Lois. Adults appreciated the movie's guts, and kids likely grew legitimately concerned for the movie's hero. For better or worse, it heralded a far darker approach to the Superman mythos, an approach that would be continued with Man of Steel and the DCEU. Number 3. Leslie's Death – Bridge to Terabithia In the summer of 1974, a friend of Catherine Patterson's son was killed after being struck by lightning. This event inspired Patterson to write Bridge to Terabithia. Much of the movie concerns the budding friendship between Jess and Leslie as they create and imagine the fantasy land of Terabithia. Mrs. Myers, this is Leslie Burke who will be joining your class. But tragedy strikes when Leslie dies in a horrific accident, and the rest of the movie concerns Jess processing his grief and letting go of his guilt. Your friend Leslie is dead. It's a brutal but unfortunately realistic turn for the story to take, and it tragically represents the random and often senseless nature of death. It's okay, Jess. It's okay, son. It's okay. <laughs> it's all gone. 
Number two, Harry discovers Chad. Burn after reading. I know who the guy is. The guy? The guy, the secret guy. So is he high up? Uh, I don't know if he's high, probably. The Coen brothers are masters at blurring tragedy with comedy. Burn After Reading is one of their more comedic and lighthearted efforts, but it still contains its fair share of shocking visuals. <laughs> like Ted's butchering at the hands of Osborne. But the darkest moment, and certainly the most unexpected, has to be the death of Chad. Chad is the movie's goofiest and most lovable character, but he certainly didn't have plot armor, as he is shot and killed in Osborne's closet by a startled Harry. It's arguably one of the most unexpected deaths in movie history, and the graphic visual makes it all the more shocking and unbelievable. You think that might be enough carrots? What? For the salad? You know, you really are a negative person. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Note, What Women Want. Funny movie about reading women's minds turns dark with pills. Oh, no. Dear Bobby, ready to oh. 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 Neil takes his own life, Dead Poet Society. Inspirational drama contains a hopeless teenager who feels he has no other way out. Oh, Neil! Oh, oh my God! God. Oh. No. oh, my oh, son! He's my right. son, my poor he's son! All right. He's all right! 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 Emma's random death, one day. Cute romantic film turns dark when Emma is suddenly hit by a truck. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the boat ride, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You're going to love this, just love it. If there's one scene that's been causing nightmares in children for generations, it's the random boat sequence from Willy Wonka. Hang on, where are we going? I don't know, but I don't like to watch that tunnel up there. Hey, Wonka, I want off! Part of what makes this iconic scene so effective is that it comes out of nowhere and completely without warning. Faster! Hang on, darling, just close your eyes and hang on tight! Not only that, it immediately follows what's arguably the most magical sequence of the movie, creating an effective tonal change. You can't possibly see where you're going, Wonka! You're right. I can't. The scene contains strobing lights that create a deeply unsettling effect, various unnerving images like a chicken getting its head cut off, and Wonka going absolutely mental. There's no earthly way of knowing <laughs> He's singing. which direction we are going. There's no knowing where we're rowing, or which way the river's flowing. Props to Gene Wilder and the filmmakers for creating what is quite possibly the scariest scene in a children's movie. Yes, the danger must be growing for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.